Hey friends, welcome back. Today we're checking out this portable cassette player from a brand new audio company in France called We Are Rewind. So similar to last week's video, this company also sent me this a while back and I'm finally getting around to tell you my thoughts about it in this video. Now, full disclosure, even though they sent this to me, all of my thoughts and opinions about it are my own. All right, now let's check it out. Okay, so here's the box, and as you can see, it came with a little note. Hey, Jarrett, hope you enjoy it. Kind regards, Romaine. Well, thank you, Romaine, and all the good people at We Are Rewind for sending this over. Now, taking a look at the front of the box, we get some artwork showing us the outline of the cassette player inside. On the top and bottom of the box, we get the company name in big bold letters. On the right side, we get the specific color of this unit. Now, as you can see, each color corresponds to a person's name. Perhaps these people work for the company, I'm not sure, but regardless, Serge is orange, Kurt is blue, and finally, Keith is gray. And that's the one that I got. Now, moving to the left side, we get a list of some of the features of this cassette player. It has stereo sound, a built-in rechargeable lithium-ion battery. It has wireless Bluetooth connectivity, which is very interesting for a device like this. And last of all, it even has a record feature, so you can make your own mixtapes. Very cool. Now, if we open the cover, we first get the user manual. As you can see, it's quite large and basically covers everything you need to know, like the functions of the various buttons, how to play a cassette, how to connect to wireless headphones, how to charge the battery, how to record onto cassettes, and even instructions on how to clean the tape head, capstan, and pinch roller using a cotton swab and cleaning solution. So the manual is very detailed, which is great. Now we even get a pencil inside the box as well. So seasoned cassette collectors will already know what this is for, but for the rest of us, basically, when you have a tape that has some extra slack in it, you can insert this pencil into the tape hub and rotate it like this to remove the slack. So it's really funny that they chose to include that, but when you really think about it, once you get into cassettes, this is probably the most important accessory to have. And speaking of accessories, we also get a USB-C to USB-A cable. So this is how we charge the cassette player. And according to the manual, that takes about four to five hours. And finally, last of all, we have the player itself. Now, right off the bat, let's be clear. We can't rightly call this thing a Walkman because it's not made by Sony. So instead, we'll just call this a modern portable cassette player or just player for short. So as you can see, it has an aluminum body with a little window on the front so you can watch the tape as it plays. So moving to the top, we have all the important buttons. Now, one thing to keep in mind here as we look at these buttons is the fact that since we load cassettes upside down into the player, from this angle, the tapes actually move from right to left. So keeping that in mind, here are the controls. Stop, fast forward, rewind, play, record, and finally, the Bluetooth pairing button. Now moving over to the side, we got the volume control, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, a recording jack, which is basically a line input, and finally, a USB-C charging port. So that's everything that's included inside the box, but the real question is, how does it actually sound? And the answer to that is really good, actually. According to the manual, this player can play all cassette tape types. So of course, I had to put it to the test. I tried type one tapes, or ferric oxide, type two, chromium dioxide, and the newer cobalt formula from ATR Magnetics, and finally, type four or metal formula tapes. And across the board, everything worked and sounded great. Now, I was really curious if it would also play a type three ferrochrome tape, but since I don't have one of those, I guess we'll never know. Now, what I do own, however, are several different types of headphones. So I also wanted to test out 
how this player would handle and be able to drive these different types of headphones. So I tested it first with my workhorse monitors, the Audio-Technica ATH M50Xs, as well as the Sony WH-1000XM3s, using them both wired and wireless, which we'll talk more about later on. I tested the Meze Lyrics with their planar drivers, the Meze 109 Pros with their open back dynamic drivers, and finally, last of all, and just for fun, I also tried out my vintage 80s looking orange on-ear headphones by Koss and Retrospect just because they look cool alongside this cassette player. And yet again, everything sounded great. The audio quality had that analog warmth that we all love about cassettes, and it was also very detailed. So I was pretty impressed. So as we just mentioned, this cassette player was able to drive all those different types of headphones without any audio issues at all. There was no distortion, no connection problems, no audio dropouts, and no low volume. In fact, the volume can get pretty loud if you crank it up. So basically, no matter what headphones you got, they're gonna work just fine with this player. Now let's talk about making mixtapes. So to test out this feature, I connected an aux cable from the headphone jack output of my laptop to the recording line input of the cassette player. Then I connected my headphones. Then I grabbed a blank recording the masters type one tape that I had lying around and I used it to record the mixtape. So I recorded royalty free music onto the tape and I noticed immediately that unfortunately you can't monitor monitor the audio live as you're recording it. You basically have to just guess what the right level is going to be on your audio source, then record for a little bit, then stop the tape, rewind it, and play it back, and only then can you hear what you just recorded. So that's kind of a bummer, but regardless, after a little testing, I found that the perfect audio level on my laptop was about 75% volume. Now, speaking of making mixtapes, although the player will record onto any type of tape, I noticed that it works especially well with these Recording the Masters Type 1 tapes. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. Now, let's talk about the battery. As I mentioned earlier, it does have a built-in rechargeable battery. And as I was doing my listening tests, I noticed that it was running out of juice because the tapes were playing a little bit slower. Well, not that slow, but you get the point. So I put the player on my computer desk and I used the included USB cable to connect it to my USB charging station. Now, as soon as you plug it in, a little red light appears right here, letting you know that it's charging. And then once that red light turns off, it's fully charged. So it is convenient to just charge this thing over and over and not have to worry about AA batteries. However, many years from now, eventually, that built-in battery is not going to be able to hold a charge anymore. And then, what do you do? Well, basically, you got two options. Send it back to the company for a replacement battery, or just keep it wired via the USB charging cable from now on. So on one hand, it's convenient, but then on the other hand, down the road, it's gonna be a kind of a hassle. So it's kind of a mixed bag. Now, as a side note, if you're good with electronics, you could also try opening the thing up and replacing the battery yourself, just like the guys right here on the German Tech Guys YouTube channel. However, by doing this, you will void the warranty. So keep that in mind as well. Now let's talk about the Bluetooth function. Honestly, this is my favorite feature of this cassette player. I actually couldn't believe it the first time I paired it with my Sony XM3 Bluetooth headphones. I couldn't fathom that my modern headphones were connecting wirelessly with a device that plays cassettes. So that's a first for this channel. I've never had a device that could do that. It's kind of insane. And it's a very unique blend of analog and digital technology working together in harmony. So after they were paired, I turned the volume knob all the way up on the player, and then I just used the swipe up and swipe down controls of my headphones to control the volume. So overall, it pairs very well with the Sony XM3s. And I'm sure it'll also work well with the newer 
XM4s and XM5s if you have those models. Now, when listening to analog sources though, I do personally prefer wired headphones. But actually, in my listening tests, I didn't really notice much of a difference in sound quality when switching between wired and wireless modes on this player. So basically, all I'm saying is that this Bluetooth feature is one of the coolest things about this player. Now, in order to find out even more info about this cassette player, let's check out the Q&A section on the company's website. Is there any warranty for my player? Yes, a one-year manufacturer's warranty. Can I make any modifications to the cassette player? We don't recommend it. How long does the battery last? Up to 10 hours. What are the tech specs for this player? So they list all the tech specs right here, so feel free to pause the video and read all the info. Can I digitize my cassettes using this player and my computer? Well, basically, as long as you have the equipment and the software to do so, you can use the headphone output on the player to do just that. Now, as a side note here, if you are going to do this, I'd personally recommend using the free audio program Audacity for both Mac and PC for capturing the cassette audio into your computer. And the final question here is, what should I do when the battery is dead? The battery has an estimated service life of four to five years. You cannot replace it, but you can power the unit with an external battery. So as I mentioned earlier, that battery is really the Achilles heel of an otherwise amazing product. Now, last of all, let's compare the pros and cons of this portable cassette player. And let's start with the cons. It doesn't have noise reduction. It doesn't come with a carrying case or even a belt clip. So if you're walking around, you either have to carry it by hand or in a bag or something. And as I just said, it doesn't have a removable battery. Now moving to the pros, it's well built. The aluminum body feels solid, not plasticky like other players. It has very good sound quality, even without noise reduction. It has over 10 hours of continuous playback. It can play every type of cassette tape. It works with any headphone you throw at it. The Bluetooth feature is awesome. You can make mixtapes with it. And essentially for the price and the quality you get, it is a great value. So overall, I really like this portable cassette player, and if you want to check it out for yourself, I'll drop the link to it in the video description down below. Alright, now before we go, today's song of the day is Heart of Glass by Blondie. And if you have a suggestion for a song of the day as well, post in the comments down below and you might see it in a future video. Okay, now what do you think about this new portable cassette player? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you love all things music and audio related like I do, then feel free to smash that subscribe button and hit the little bell notification right down there so you won't miss out on the new videos. And most importantly of all, have an awesome day, stay safe, and keep spinning that vinyl.